of Narvi with Gus on the breakfast concert enough from 1930. Can you believe that? That's, that's 90 years ago, 93 years ago. In this match, we saw many suplex plus even more moves. Which means this was super good match. I give it this match 4 to 5 because so many wrestling moves and God, since I'm still busy on YouTube, where I watched it and with 20 minutes video and there are many moves in this match. So let's start with Gus Sonnenberg. He was born in 1898 and died in 1944. May he rest in peace. He debuted in 1928 in the pro wrestling business and 20s are no match, but 30s he wrestled 8 levies and I'm guessing Warren Buck, Winkelwaster and Young Lutes. Then in the 40s he was still wrestling and 1942 he wrestled his last match and then he died. So, my cousin break rest in pieces from the biggest against of all times. My personal favorite and legend in the pieces coach his matches. And Contrary enough was born in 1989. The, the 1898 and that in 1925 he was he deputed 1926 according to Gates.com and 30s he wrestled. I'm guessing Gus Sonnenberg was there and Jim Londos and Ed Levis and Warren Bockwing and Lutes. And Forties he was still wrestling, he wrestled, wrestled Star of the Forest and fifties he wrestled Arm Mike TPSA and 1957 he wrestled his last match so that was the story of Contrarian of FIFA, this is one of the biggest games of all times, my personal favorite legend in the business coach's matches. So this match for the Foster we saw a little bit of submission moves and lots of suplexes and we didn't see any punches because if you punch your opponent during this time you get disqualified. And these two they wrestled over one heart this match and go see this match will be between three due to black said that for the five stars so high in my ranking system and this match relies. Two metal against Casson and Breaking Culture enough. They have wrestled in the pioneer era of professional wrestling. And this was the AWA Boston version for the AWA World Heavyweight Championship. And I believe Gus on the break return at his title at savengagemas.com. So yeah, for the first there's nothing more to say for Mechal against. I think I'm said it, I like it. I wanted to see a bit more submission moves because the, those are the real wrestling moves. We saw a little bit too much suplexes, but which made this match close to modern days. And it's not exactly a favorite of the masterpiece because it was missing something, I don't know. <coughs> so, yeah. Four to five stars summons to the goods and are almost perfect match and two mechal against Pioneer era, the black and fight era. Luckily there were no commentators in this match because th that would be a bit distracting sometimes. But we, I heard the crowd noises, they were cheering for the wrestlers and Well, it was a 1930, by the way, fun, fun, fun fact. Clint Eastwood was born in 1930 and is still alive. He's one of my favorite actors and he is making a new movie. So, yeah. I think also Gene Hackman was born in 1930 and is still alive. And, but I'm not the biggest Gene Hackman fan, I'm more of like Clint Eastwood Westerns fan. And yeah, this match for the first stars, Cassandra Brink, Contrarian, and